Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast. I'm Jamie Scott Akataya. And here joining me today, my good friend, Mr. Bill Carter. He is from the Open Compute Project Foundation, or as many of you know it, OCP. Bill, welcome to JSA TV. Hey, thanks for having me, Jamie. And thanks for being here. So much exciting stuff coming up on the calendar. Uh, first week of March, a must attend in San Jose. Can you tell our community a little bit more about uh, the series events OCP has planned? I'd love to. A uh, big week for us, uh, this, this entering the 10th year as, a, as an organization. Uh, learned over the years that it's really best to try to, you know, do a lot of things in, in a week and, and, and uh, rather than have a bunch of things throughout the year. So, so we filled up the week. We start off March 2nd and 3rd with a, a hackathon. It's sponsored by LinkedIn. It's on the, the LinkedIn campus. Uh, the hackathon is on Sonic. It's one of our open source projects. Sonic is a network operating system, originally uh, launched and contributed by Microsoft. Now we have hundreds of, of developers and collaborators on that. Um, and you're going to hear about Sonic throughout the week, but two-day hackathon at LinkedIn. Uh, March 3rd, we actually uh, have kicked off a a symposium we call it the OCP Future Technology Symposium. Uh, this is an opportunity for people to, to really see the type of research that's going on um, in the universities and the uh, research organizations around the globe. So if you're a you know, hyperscaler, you probably have uh, people that are already communicating with those research organizations. If you're not, this is a great time to hear uh, about the, that research and connect with the individuals. Uh, and this is really important to create that connect, connectivity. And we think as an organization, that's one of our roles. That's March 3rd, it's in the San Jose Convention Center. If you attend the, uh, the, the, the summit, you're actually invited to also attend the symposium. This year, we're doing it in conjunction with the um, Symposium on SDN Research, another research organization. Uh, again, we're co-located co uh, together on March 3rd. Uh, we had about 40 abstracts submitted for that. Uh, we've narrowed it down to the, the, the top 30 or 35. You're going to hear from uh, researchers and projects going on within at Princeton University, Stanford, uh, UC Berkeley, UC Santa Clara, uh, just to name a few. Uh, and, and what's really nice is that we're seeing universities participate in that that really have deep expertise in certain subjects. Virginia Polytech, very well known uh, institute on uh, power delivery and power research. They have a couple of papers they're presenting. Uh, University of New Hampshire, again, very deep in networking. Uh, they'll be there. We also have some, some private sector um, uh, companies that are participating. Alibaba that has their own research organization, they're going to present a Jupiter Network, same thing. Um, ITRI, this is the Taiwanese Research Institute, they're presenting. So again, it's a global, uh, we're seeing global interest in, in participating in our, our Future Technology Symposium. That's on March 3rd. And then uh, March 4th, we kick off the summit. Uh, March 4th and 5th, it's our global summit. Um, and this year's theme is open for all. So the hackathon, the symposium, then you, of course your global summit to, to end on that fourth and fifth. Is there an overall theme connecting these series of events? There is. Uh, the theme this year is open for all. Um, we, we really feel that as, a, as an organization and as an industry, and this is, I want to speak for the industry, and this includes a lot of other open source organizations. We've matured to the point that, that open sourcing benefits everyone, regardless of the size of your country, the size of your company, or, or what country you're from. So we think that 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 our work we're doing is applicable to, to every size of company and uh, anywhere in the globe. So hence our theme, open for all. I love that, and so so fitting for you. <laughs> um, additionally, we have to just pay tribute to your dynamic speaker lineup. You really have some amazing companies, speakers from those companies uh, coming out to speak to us. Can you tell us a little bit sneak peek there? Yeah, so every year we kick off our, our keynote lineup on it's day one, early in the morning, or, or it's in the morning, day one. Um, 
So we'll have Rocky and uh, and our our chairman of our board, Mark Rennick, will talk about the foundation news, give us some forward thinking direction on strategy, and uh, talk about various partnerships. And then we have five keynote speakers that we selected this year. Our leadoff speaker is Catherine Schmidt from Facebook. Um, she's going to walk us through that journey that we've been on. We started with disaggregation of of network hardware, disaggregation of server and, and rack designs. Um, we got involved in the support of, of a circular economy. Very, very important that we do that. Um, and then, uh, and then she's going to walk us through the future challenges. As Moore's law slows down, we have a lot of different opportunities uh, to galvanize the industry and do it in a in a collaborative, open fashion. So, you know, some of those technologies will include uh, domain-specific accelerators, high-speed interconnects, uh, co-packaged optics. On the firmware side, it's, you know, get into security and, and firmware sourcing and telemetry and monitoring. So there's some of the topics that she'll hit on. Uh, we then uh, have an a international speaker, uh, INSPIR, a very large ODM out of China, and really servicing the entire globe now, um, has been a, a great partner for, for the foundation, uh, working with not just the China companies, but but also um, the companies around the globe in providing open source hardware. They're going to talk about some of the uh, customer enabling work that they're doing and the collaboration work that they're doing. And similarly, we another international speaker from Samsung, uh, uh, Zhang Yu Li, Senior Vice President at Samsung Memory, will talk about the work they're doing on an open storage platform. And again, they're doing that in a collaborative fashion. So uh, we'll get to hear from him. Uh, and then we, we wrap up with uh, two other speakers that are also um, members of our board. Uh, Jason Waxman, a board member from Intel, talk about the work that they're doing on uh, delivering solutions really from the cloud all the way to the edge. And we'll hear from, hear from Jason and a lot of different activities that, that Intel has underway. And then we wrap it up with a, a great keynote from Yosef Khalidi from Microsoft. He's going to talk about Sonic. And Sonic started out as a network operating system for the traditional top rack switch and and it's really delivering advanced network features and it's really now part of the switch architecture um, including you know not just top of rack but the backbone of uh, of networking within the facility and we're going to hear about those uh, those features that, that they're working on and 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 all the, the companies that are that are participating in delivering uh, features for that so um, great lineup that we have in the morning, and then we go into the afternoon with, again, a lot more talks uh, available as we open up the expo hall. Yeah, that, that's so mind-blowing to me. The OCP Global Summit day one morning just includes logos like Facebook, Intel, Microsoft, Samsung, Inspur. Um, so clearly um, a lineup not to be beaten, uh, just you have to attend. Um, now. Moving over to OCP on the community side, um, just to get your your insight here a little bit, uh, Bill, if you don't mind. What are some of the innovations and solutions that are coming from our open collaboration, and and how are they solving industry challenges? Well, you know, we know that we have an industry challenge around power consumption uh, on a global scale. The data centers are consuming more and more. Uh, uh, more and more of the, the the total available power and uh and so we want to be conservative on on power uh consumption and one way to do that is to operate our facilities most efficiently um, so there's a couple of things going on there on that on that side one is um is just making sure that power distribution you know from the facilities to the rack to the it equipment is as efficient as possible so years ago, uh, the hyperscalers had their own proprietary designs. Um, we have created a, a solution called Open uh, Open Rack, and, and uh, that that's been widely adopted. Um, and what where we're at today is we're taking that base design and we we're evolving it to include some of these the features of some of these other designs. And it's it'll be an, again another open source uh, architecture. Uh, it's our third generation of Open Rack, and we can some really big names that are participating in that collaboration. Similarly, we have a, some harmonization work that's going on with liquid cooling, uh, whether it's immersion or cold play or rear door heat exchangers. 
Um, liquid cooling solves a problem and it can do so in you know, cooling a data center very efficiently, as well as solving the problem of, of you know, how do you cool a, a, a rack that may have you know, 50 kilowatts or 100 kilowatts of power. So what we're doing is working across the industry and across these solution providers to come up with some harmonization so that we create you know, interchangeable solutions um, and, and can deploy those solutions as quickly as possible and as widely as possible. So a lot of really interesting work going on there. Um, on the IT equipment side, a lot of work going on around um, AI infrastructure. Um, we have a, a, a couple of projects around AI infrastructure, and we've taken a, a modular approach to that. So we have some uh, AI platforms that are modular. You're going to see a lot of that in the show. You're going to hear about that during the keynote. Um, we did a project last year with the, the network interface uh, card, the NIC 3.0 spec. Again, a wide adoption of that, that creates modularity. It really ex also extends the life of, of some of those components. Um, and more recently, we're doing the same thing with, with harmonization of solutions for edge deployment. So as the cloud has moved from the traditional walls of the data center out to the edge, um, you know, we're, we're offering uh, you know, a harmonization of the hardware there. And so there's a lot of work that goes on there. Well, I just love it. Um, so for organizations who want to know more about open collaboration, particularly on power distribution, liquid pooling, getting to the edge, modularity, AI infrastructure, all of, all of those amazing uh, buzzwords these days, where can they go to find out more and to be part of your efforts? Yeah, so we have a, a, a really nice web portal. It's opencompute.org. Um, from there, you can click on the events tab. Uh, that you sign up to, to attend the global summit, the regional summit, other uh, workshops that go on throughout the year, uh, not just here in the US, but globally, uh, find those events there. Uh, we also have a project page if they wanna get involved in the projects. We have a weekly calls, some projects have weekly calls, some have monthly calls. Um, again, all that information is available, they can sign up. Uh, right from the website and join mailing list, uh, participate in project calls, you know, attend these uh, uh, these workshops that we have throughout the year. And I know I love to go to opencompute.org just for your blogs. You guys are delivering <laughs> daily content. That's extraordinary. Uh, so I, I find so much education just just in your blog site alone. But I should tell folks also check out the events, OCP Global Summit, and the whole the whole week of of, of events from the hackathon and and the symposium as well. Um, go ahead to also uh, learn more and register opencompute.org. Bill, thank you so much for your generous time and insight. We look so forward to seeing you in a month's time. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking. Thank you, Jamie.